<laughs> okay. All right. Predictions, Pat. My prediction is General Lloyd Austin will get the waiver to serve as Defense Secretary from both parties in the Congress of the United States. And our old friend who served on this panel, Mira Tandon, will have the roughest climb on the Hill. She's the new OMB director. Eleanor. Uh, the Electoral College meets on, on Monday. There's always some uh, discussion about will there be faithless electors. I don't think there'll be any faithless electors. And if they are, they're more likely to move away from Trump uh, to Biden uh, than the other way. And after the Electoral College makes its determination, I think there will be a significant crack in the wall of support for President Trump. I think Mitch McConnell will finally make the phone call to congratulate Joe Biden on his win. Okay, Rachel? I do think that uh, even when the electors certify and it goes to Congress, I do think you're going to see at least uh, some rumbling from Congress. I think you're gonna see a partnership between the House and the Senate to try and recount some of those votes, just like you saw from Barbara Boxer and House Democrats in 2005. I don't think it'll be successful, but I do think we're going to see some drama. Very good. Clarence? Uh, the Vanessa Gwilin bill has been introduced, named for a, a, a military woman uh, who died uh, tragically after her sexual harassment complaints weren't listened to, weren't taken seriously enough, an, an ongoing problem in the military. But I think that this time, uh, th this act will make sexual harassment an offense under the Uniform Code of Military Justice, the, the great law book of our military. And I think it's going to pass. Uh, but it's got good uh, uh, Republican and Democratic support. Uh, and it, it's the sort of thing that is very much needed. And the Hispanic community in particular and Latino rights groups are really up in arms over this for very good reason. Okay, I predict that Britain and the European Union will reach a trade deal uh, to continue their relationship uh, after the end of this year. Uh, part of the reason Boris Johnson is playing hardball on that issue uh, involves the US National Security Agency and some of the things they and their British equivalent have been telling him about what the EU is thinking behind the scenes. More on that story in the future. Thank you for watching. We will see you next week.